Is there such thing as a tea that tastes like coffee? In this video, we're gonna explore a few different types of teas that can have a very similar flavor to that of coffee. We'll also go through a list of teas that are high in caffeine so that we can find the best tea to substitute coffee. Before we get started, it would really mean a lot to us if you could subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for future tea videos. If you'd prefer to read about this topic, we have a great blog article and we'll put the link in the description below. Without further ado, let's get started. Four types of tea that taste like coffee. Number one, kuki hojicha. If you're looking for a tea that tastes like coffee, you can't get any better than the kuki hojicha. This is a dark roasted stem tea made by Mr. Issen in Takachiho. After the roasting process is complete, the tea takes on much warmer and darker flavor profiles, such as dark chocolate and black coffee. Although this is a tea that tastes like coffee, the caffeine content is a different story. The kuki hojicha has the lowest caffeine content of any of our teas, due to the fact that it's mostly made from the stems and it's a roasted tea. Number two, the hojicha noike. The hojicha noike is another great tea that tastes like coffee. Compared to the kuki hojicha, this tea is on the sweeter side, with notes of caramel and milk coffee. The noike hojicha is made by Mr. Noike, just outside of Kyoto. He grows tea in a small field in the middle of a pine forest. Because the field is surrounded by tall pine trees, it receives partial shading throughout the day, which makes the tea slightly sweeter. The noike hojicha is the most popular hojicha tea on our website, and you're sure to love it. It's one of the best teas for coffee drinkers. Number three, the hojicha kawabata en. The hojicha kawabata en is the final hojicha on our list. Hojicha is probably the best example of a tea that tastes like coffee, so you really can't go wrong with any of these three. The kawabata en takes on a slightly more mild and woody taste characteristic. The roast is somewhere in between the kugi hojicha and the noike hojicha. It's not quite as sweet as the noike, but it still doesn't have quite as heavy of a roast compared to the kugi hojicha. Along with the other types of hojicha on this list, the kawabata en is the best tea for coffee drinkers. Number four, the genmaicha hagiricha. Finally on our list of teas that taste like coffee, we have the genmaicha hagiricha. This tea is not quite roasted like the others, but it does contain pieces of roasted rice that give it a nice warm cereal flavor. This tea is made by combining unroasted tea leaves with roasted rice, and the flavors of each work great together. Genmaicha has a low caffeine content and a pleasant flavor of popcorn or cereal. This is a great tea to enjoy in the morning if you're trying to cut back on the caffeine, or in the afternoon if you're having trouble sleeping at night. Other than hojicha, genmaicha is the best tea for coffee drinkers. What is the best caffeinated tea to replace coffee? If you're looking for a tea to replace coffee, you can find many great options that are high in caffeine. In this next section, we are going to lay out five different teas you can enjoy in the morning instead of your cup of coffee. Number one, matcha. Matcha is probably the best tea to replace coffee because it can be very high in caffeine. A regular serving of ceremonial matcha tea can have around 68 milligrams of caffeine. While this may not seem like much compared to a strong cup of coffee, this is just using two grams of matcha powder. If you really want to increase the amount of caffeine in your cup of matcha, you can just mix in double the amount of powder. This will make the flavor much richer and more concentrated, but also up the caffeine content to 136 milligrams per serving. If you use a higher ratio of powder to water, matcha can even have more caffeine than coffee, making it the best tea to substitute coffee. Number two, gyokuro. Another good tea to replace coffee is gyokuro. A typical cup of coffee has between 95 and 105 milligrams of caffeine. Compare this to a serving of gyokuro tea that can have between 120 to 140 milligrams of caffeine per cup. Even though gyokuro has more caffeine than coffee, you still won't feel the same effects. Instead of getting this rapid jolt of energy and a crash later on in the day, Gyokuro drinkers report having a longer lasting, calm energy throughout the day. This is likely due to the L-theanine, which can induce a calming effect on the body and slow the absorption of caffeine. Number three, Kabusei Sencha. An often forgotten about tea to replace coffee is Kabusei Cha. The longer tea is shaded, the more caffeine it tends to have. While gyokuro and matcha are both shaded for three weeks or more prior to the harvest, a tea is considered kabusecha or kabuse sencha if it's shaded for between 10 and 20 days. This means that the caffeine content will be significantly higher than a normal green tea, but it still will not have as much compared to a tea like gyokuro. If you're trying to slowly cut back on caffeine, this might be a good stepping stone. Number four, sencha. Sencha is the most common type of tea in Japan, and it can be a great tea to replace coffee. Sencha is the most diverse category in the world of Japanese green tea, and depending on what flavors you like, you can find a sencha that fits your exact needs. If you prefer these milder, drier flavors in a tea, you can go for an unshaded sencha like the sencha isagawa. If you're a fan of these strong, steamed vegetable flavors, you can go for a deep steamed fukumushi sencha like the murasaki sencha. Number 5. Kamiyiricha. The final tea to replace coffee is Kamiyiricha. This is a partially roasted green tea, somewhere in between a hojicha and a sencha. The flavor profile takes on more of these nutty notes like toasted almonds and hazelnuts. This tea is relatively high in caffeine compared to teas like bancha and hojicha, but nowhere near as high as gyokuro. If you're coming from the world of coffee, you may see this as a bridge between the more roasted flavors and the fresher, more vegetal flavors. Now that we've talked about the best tea for coffee drinkers, let's take a minute to explore different types of herbal infusions. To be considered a true tea, it has to come from the tea plant, Camellia sinensis. 
Herbal infusions like chamomile and peppermint are often referred to as teas, but they are in fact tisans. For simplicity's sake, we can refer to these as herbal teas and go through a list of the best herbal teas that taste like coffee. Number one, we have carob tea. Carob tea is perhaps the best herbal tea that tastes like coffee. This herbal infusion is made from the dry, ground-up fruit of the carob plant, and it can have a flavor similar to coffee or chocolate. There are plenty of health benefits that come from this plant, and it has a long history of being used as a healthy substitute for coffee and chocolate. You can just prepare this in some hot water, and you will end up with a warm drink with a taste similar to hot cocoa or coffee. Number two, acorn tea. Another herbal tea that tastes like coffee is acorn tea. Acorn tea may sound like a new trend, but it's been mentioned as early as the 1800s. Acorns can be ground up and used in different types of herbal remedies. It can be infused into water to create an herbal tea to replace coffee. Number three, dandelion root tea. Dandelion root tea is another herbal tea that tastes like coffee. This tisane is made by infusing dandelion roots in hot water, and although the flavor is very different than that of coffee, it can be used as a replacement. This tisane is very high in vitamin K, and it is thought to be good for your bones. Number four, chicory root tea. A fourth herbal tea that tastes like coffee is chicory root. Chicory tea is a popular substitute for coffee since ground chicory has a similar taste and aroma to coffee. Both chicory tea and coffee have a warm, earthy, nutty flavor that pairs well with sweet pastries and breakfast foods. Number five, barley tea. Barley tea is the final herbal tea that tastes like coffee. This tea is very popular in Japan where it is called mogicha. This tea is often roasted and it takes on these earthier or nuttier flavors, making it a good replacement for coffee. Like the other teas on this list, the barley tea is naturally caffeine free, so it can be a nice treat to enjoy at any time throughout the day. We hope you have found this video helpful when it comes to replacing your coffee for green tea. If you would like to try any of the teas mentioned in the video, we have dozens of different green teas on our website neoteas.com. Over the past few years, we have traveled all around Japan and met with dozens of tea farmers. These farmers all produce teas without the use of chemicals or pesticides. And if you'd like to help us support them, we would really appreciate it if you went to neoteas.com and tried some of the teas for yourself. Again, it would also really mean a lot to us if you could subscribe to the YouTube channel and stay tuned for future tea videos. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up so you can see more like it in the future. If you have any questions about tea, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Until then, we'll see you next time.